Fred. I'm just joking. Take it away, Tony. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Welcome back to another action-packed episode. You went straight to the action with John the Red at your side. This is Tony Stevens uh, presenting you yet another Saturday Night Gaming episode, Hands of Greed. As we left off, the team had just managed to collapse a cliffside onto an army of Olkai, uh, keeping them detained for the moment. But before I get too carried away on telling you what happened, don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe. Tell your grandmother, your family, your friends. And let's go ahead and introduce the cast and crew. Starting at my right, tell me about you, your character, and a little bit well, uh, about what happened to you, or what's going on with you, what your, what your thought patterns are right now. As character. Don't tell me too much about your personal life. Um, Not on the podcast, anyway. <laughs> okay. I'm Laura, and I'm playing Ace. And, I don't know, you know, we just trapped a bunch of things. We're going to go after Magpie, I guess. Yeah, alright. I'm Quinn. I am playing Soul. Um, I think I'm in the same boat with Ace and everyone. We're going to go after the brightly dressed Magpie. Alright. I'm Ronnie, I'm uh, betraying Mr. Smiles, and he is actually doing the same thing. Okay. I am Chrissy, playing the character Red. Just caught up with everybody after finding myself kind of lost in space, so to speak. Um, that should so be the title of the show. Hmm. Lost in space. So to speak. I think they did. So, so to, to speak. speak. Yeah, add the so to speak on the end of that, <laughs> so we don't get copyrighted. <laughs> But uh, oh, caught up with everybody, and we're trying to <laughs> fight our way through these goop creatures. Goop, goop creatures? Goop creatures. I like, I that. like seeing people like like that. who haven't dealt with these things a lot. They're like, uh, weird goop creatures. All right, cool. So we're doing this. I'm Jessica. I'm playing an uh slash Illyria on occasion. Um, we're trying to find Magpie after we just trapped all these guys. A Minotaur is very sad. Why are you sad, Minotaur? I am Neil, and I am playing Milk Dud, the sad Minotaur. <laughs> I realized that I threw my axe to destroy the cliff. My favorite axe. And now it's buried underneath the cliff. I must find my axe. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> And you, sir. I'm uh, John the Red, and I'm playing for two. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair enough. John the Red's unconscious and being saved, and four two is trying not to get stampeded. That is absolutely correct. That's what you meant, right? That's what I said. <laughs> it was all subtextual. All right, so as uh, Magpie runs off into the distance trying to make his way towards the Golden City, everybody else is trying to make their way up the cliff to follow him. I think we need to resolve one person before we can move on. Uh, Mr. Sad Minotaur Man. Whoa. Kneeling before a big pile of rubble. <laughs> or a dyslexic minotaur. Um, um. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, could I try to attune? Yeah. To... So, just roll off of your con again to try and attune to the axe, and uh, put your benchmark at a thirty. <laughs> <laughs> it's not happening. How bad was it? I rolled a one. Oh, oh no! Really do you want me to give you a favor, or do you have a, ha a favor you can spend? I would like a favor. I don't have any favors. All right, I'm going to make it black like your heart. <laughs> Especially now that it's broken. Uh, ones. All right. All right, so I guess the axe is subdued for now. All right. You don't have to just kill Magpie with my bare hands. Yeah. Yes. All right. So as you're making up the cliffside, uh, obviously you would see that 
the brightly dressed gentleman, as they call him, is off in the distance, running towards what you would now see as a towering golden city with beautiful, large gemstones adorning every single piece of the architecture. Runic symbols carved everywhere. This is probably one of the most pretty expensive places you've ever seen. Just letting you know for those types of girls that like to shop. Well, they're going after him anyways, right? That's where he seems to be going. I heard gin stones. Yeah. You did. <laughs> Two birds with one stone. As you run with your backpack, that's still going <laughs> full of like other gemstones that you've stolen. That you the stole. ten large gemstones yeah, that we have. Yeah, horses and all that jazz. All right, so we'll open it up with you. Um, you apparently keep running in the lead. Like, hey, everybody, how... follow me. I've got all the initiative. I don't know how that keeps happening. Um... Like, is he close enough for me to try to shoot him with the arrow, or is he too far away? He is in the distance. You can try shooting an arrow. Um, what would the benchmark be? I mean, it'll still be 35 on the benchmark. I'll see. If, since it's a ranged weapon, I'll let you make that attack. Um, I think I'm going to use one of these to lower it to 30. I'll take it from you. And then thirty-two. All right. So yes. yeah, you arrow <laughs> sails into the distance, and you actually see it peg him in the shoulder as he's running in. The, mm, not his leg. Down to the like ground, <laughs> he kind of starts staggering <laughs> to try and get himself back up and continue running. Arrow still sticking out of his back. Hmm. Is he still staggering? I'm going to try and hit him with... Is he still on the distant Yeah, he's range? distant. Okay. I'm going to throw, hit him with fireball. Okay. Mm -hmm. Still 35? Yeah. No, we're going to fix that. Good job. Oh. Oh, very nice. Do the math. Mm, I do. Uh, 36. All right. So, yeah, you managed to hit with Fireball. What's your damage rating? Uh, fireball's damage rating is... Eight. All right. So, almost like honing in on like a... Uh, a lightning rod. Your fireball hits right where her flaming arrow hit, explodes and launches him forward into the distance. He's still trying to struggle to get back onto his feet. Mr. Smiles. I am going up to the same person. Alright, so you're going to be quite a distance away though, so how would you like to do it? Well, I do have a sniper rifle. Oh, oh yeah, the do. collapsible one. Shoot him in the ankles. I don't know. Does it why. require prep? It does. Hmm. Sniper rifle requires, requires a prep. prep. Okay. So I'm going to grab it out and I'm going to. It basically extends kind of like how Hawkeye's extends, just kind of just whips it out and just. All right. So you're basically setting up your, your spot, getting mm -hmm. honed in, getting sighted in. All right, red. Um. Have we already knocked out that boulder on that cliff? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. I, I missed that detail. Other yeah, that's where his axe is buried. He he did it with his axe, and oh, then oh. his axe got buried with it. He couldn't get it back out, so he's kind of sad about it. Mm, I guess I'll go after what everybody else is chasing. Okay. Mr. Magpie. So, actually, as you're chasing him, though, you would notice that you're running across what would appear to be a gem-studded bridge. So, as soon as you get to the top of the cliffside, there's like a huge ravine and then this bridge that goes across. And you're really interested in getting after him. 
but there's this huge amethyst crystal that's like just embedded in the railing of this bridge. Mm. Mm. <laughs> do you have one to, be, to even buy them? I can do already have the amethyst crystal. No, I mean, no. Oh, no. Do you have a? Do you have, do you have the ability to tell uh, me yeah, you're do you, not greedy? Do you right have now? any favor? I have one favor. You can you tell either him you tell him no and pay or him with it, or it. you say yes and take it and do it. So look at it this way: you pay me that, and you get nothing except to attack this guy, Magpie. Or I pay you this, and you get to try and uh, steal stuff. <laughs> decisions, decisions. Moral dilemma. So moral decisions. Um, I do already have the amethyst crystal, so I will, but also want another. <laughs> <laughs> Don't sweat too hard over it. It's like the, the meme. The buttons. Uh, <laughs> Um, That's a great movie. A little bit of sunlight hits it. It sparkles. Sparkly. Look right in a necklace. Humongous clock necklace. Sparkly. I'll take it. <laughs> All right. So we'll let you sit there and um, think about my decisions. <laughs> you have like a uh, a craft skill or a um, like a pickpocket skill or something I like that? I think I do. Treasure Hunter exploit, but I'm not seeing anything with well, skills. But do you have a skill that's like thievery or anything like that? Stealing. She was able to chisel away the gold thingy off the door. Yeah. If not, you can just roll it through. Um... <laughs> Her thief stuff would be off decks. Yeah, just roll it through your decks. Would Basically. it be under performance? Or is that something? That's something. Probably stealth or something thiefy. I do have stealth. Something thief, thief related. Yeah, you can just roll it off of... Um... Just rolling through your like blades or something. You're using your knife to stab it out, dig it out, or whatever. Uh, roll it through decks, so nobody notices that you've stopped doing what they're doing and gone to go steal some stuff. And Twenty-five benchmark. Got yeah, thirty. Yeah. So there you are. You're like, I'm going to get him in a minute. <laughs> and started stealing the crystal. Huh? All right. In a last shot. His benchmark is still 35. Yes. And he's at a distance. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to use this. Lower it by five. Alright. And I'm going to try to freeze him. Or stop him. I don't know why I ever put my calculator away. Mental athletics. We try to keep everybody on their toes. 31. Awesome. All right. 
So you cast, uh, um, you were saying you're I'm cast- actually using Incapacitating Word, which um, grants him the KO condition, and he's unable to take any actions for the duration, and it's for a duration of 10. <laughs> okay, so, so she like uses the Yitter Rune and basically freezes him in time. He's stuck. Ooh. That excites me. <laughs> we can tell. All right, everybody, let's just go up and start kicking him. <laughs> <laughs> let's kick him while he's down. So, I have a question. This random thought that came through my head. Mm-hmm. Um, because I couldn't find my axe. As I was looking, did I see any other weapons laying around? Any other weapons? Can I let him borrow my staff? <laughs> no other... My staff like, does 10 damage. Things that were stuck in the cliff that might not have... Oh! The Aquatax? Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> it's still there, yeah. sticking in the cliff face. <laughs> Is it in the journal vicinity where I could grab it and run? Yeah, sure. Um, Alright, I'll allow it. <laughs> Alright. It doesn't give you all the bonuses that yours does. But. No, I don't correct. know what it does. I just it carries can't. heavy weapon damage. It <sighs> can be ridden upon, <laughs> and it returns. <laughs> oh, like a boomerang. Like Thor's hammer. But like a boomerang. <laughs> Thor's hammer comes with purpose. The aquatic axe returns with danger. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I pick it up, and he's frozen. Yes. So I'm going to throw it at him. He's actually knocked out. Yeah. He's just laying there unconscious. All right. So, yeah, you don't even have to. Mm-hmm. He's he's done for the moment. So you would be able to throw and have damage. Um, so that would carry eight damage and then return to your hand. So basically it would go at him. Bop! Just take a huge chunk out of him and then come back. Oh. All right. Well, I'm going to cut his head off, so I'm still running. <laughs> yeah. This is like Lancelot in the Holy Grail. It yeah. just keep, he just keeps running and keeps running and keeps running. It keeps throwing. Yes. yes. All right. Four two. You are conscious. You are Not being pulling yourself upon. out of the, the ground. All right. And all the old Kai are dead, right? They are trapped. Uh, He's standing in front of the rocks, just like yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm gonna try and, and uh, go grab that cloak. Okay, so now he's running after Inalesha, who has John the Red. Wait, he's trying to grab the cloak off John the Red. Who's is he? Is he awake now? Or? No, he's unconscious. You're carrying him. Oh, I'm oh, wait, really strong him? for my uh, one strength. <laughs> yeah, let me have that. Too. You let me grab him with Dex. <laughs> I'm like trying to drag him like inch by inch. <laughs> slow go. <laughs> it's taking a while. <laughs> it's a good thing you were able to like drag, stop, and freeze, bum. Yeah, I Keep just dragging. stopped dragging him for a minute. All right, so he, she, you very easily catch up to her that dragging John the Red. <sighs> Here, let me help. <laughs> Just take the cl- the cloak off of him, the cloak and then is weighing him down. Yeah, that's exactly. I put it on, and then I pick him up to help her. Oh, okay. Oh, well, put him in one of your compartments. Gentlemanly. Yeah. No, he puts it on. No, he puts the cloak on, but he puts John the Red in one of his compartments. <laughs> no, no, I'm helping. Put him in a pocket. Carry him. You know. I don't think he knows about the pockets. He wasn't there for the pocket thing. He just thinks it's a nice cloak. <laughs> <laughs> ah. All right, so everybody would easily be able to catch up to this frozen in time individual. How many turns does that take? Uh, right now, this would be one. He's got nine more of being. Frozen. So it takes us one round to get to him. She's asking how oh. long on how many how many turns for the frozen. Like, if it takes us one turn to get to him, then yeah, we'd have nine more. But if it takes us two turns, then we'd only have eight more. Like, how many turns would it take us to get? That to sounds him? fair. Huh? What? It would probably two? take one turn to get all the way over in movement distances. So okay, we'll so say that he has eight more turns. For okay. Him. That's what I was trying to do. Makes perfect sense. <laughs> all right. I agree with you. I'm going to start kicking him in the ribs. Who wants the other side? I'm going to cut his head off. 
That's cool. I'm still kicking him in the ribs. <laughs> he's going to be bruised before you cut his head. Yeah, he's kicking him in the ribs. Oh, like, literally, yeah, I'm legit. taking the hammer down to the Yeah, all right, yeah. So everybody's smashing on him. Um, yeah, I'm going to take the... Uh, I'm going to check his pockets. And... Yeah, well... Entity inside me. He is evil. We no, think. Is... Don't talk to the ghost inside He's you. definitely you an old guy. You, 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 is you decide Olkai. that's with your heart. So I'm going to attack him. Bagarundi agrees. This makes sense. He is the evil that poisons men's hearts. As he's talking, I'm stabbing him. <laughs> <laughs> like 50 cuts at once. I forgot I had the uh, weapon specialization exploit, so I get a plus one to damage and so I'm using a weapon I specialize in. So it's yeah, nine he's, plus he's, four. He's, he's on smashed. fire now. Can, oh, wait, before he gets on fire, can I check his pockets? <laughs> just <wait. laughs> I just want to make sure there's nothing in his pocket. Oh, Are we there yet? Just, I just want to check his pocket. I just want to check his pockets, see if he's got anything of value. It doesn't really hurt me. Give me just one second. Did you take an action other than movement? No. You can check his pockets real quick. Go do his real perception. <laughs> Sorry, I can't hold the hammer back anymore. I want to hit something. It must go bonk. Look at him. He is like killed sleeping baby we are about to murder. <laughs> 33. It's going to well, be it like is a for Jackson. peace. It's going to be like a Jackson Pollock painting. <laughs> it's going to be so awesome. All right. <laughs> Have anyone board. heard of Gallagher? Well, <laughs> Lars is going to be really happy. Let's just put it that Can way. You splash them. <laughs> okay, so in his pocket, you would actually find that he has a decorative sword, cane, like it's a cane sword. Uh, the shaft is teal in color. The ornament on top <coughs> is a sterling silver bird with sapphires embedded into the eyes. This sword can cause poison to virtually any creature okay. by cut. Ooh. He had this in his pocket. Does he have pockets Ooh, like John the Red? Well, the, like he, it's one of his possessions that he's carrying. I'm sure she's Looking like searching him for like anything of value. And she got a 33, so. Um, he's got a lot of rings and a lot of bracelets. Mm. Eccentric tinted glasses. Um, Put on the glasses. And a very strange onyx colored coin. An etching upon it uh, almost looks like a serpent or a dragon. Maybe don't take that. Yeah, don't, I wouldn't touch that actually. <laughs> That's know. probably bad news. Take everything it might else. make you disappear. <laughs> or it might make you wealthy beyond your dreams. I'm going to take it. Oh, oh, okay. Well, I'll keep this too. What have you done? Can I go to I like when she's like, you don't even have to write yeah. me. I, I want it. Can I resume? I already wrote it on my sheet. It's mine. already <laughs> 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 wrote it on my sheet. <laughs> that was the first thing I wrote All after right, the so sword. <laughs> we'll put that into retcon mode. She searches the body, takes a bunch of stuff. You come in, start smashing with your hammer. He goes. What damage would the sword do? The damage on that? Mm -hmm. The sword. Um, put that at an eight damage, um, but it would carry poison effect. Does she, what does she need to wield it? Yeah. You would need strength to wield it, most likely. Of what? If it's... Unless you... Do you have finesse? I... As an exploit? No. Okay, so, okay, you need so five strength. for right now, what is your strength set to? Seven. Yeah. Okay, you're good. Okay. So... You can attack with it, but if you ever pick up finesse, you can actually use dexterity and to replace strength on that attack. Oh! So that allows you to use your higher dexterity. Yeah, because my dex is double speed. Um, but it would carry the poison effect. Uh, D four rating starting out. Mm -hmm. All right, and then smashy smash, stabby stab. And he has... You're catching up with a shiny gem in your hand. <laughs> so this... Is this thing already on the ground? 
Yeah, he's knocked out. Yeah, you can, um, you don't he's just kind of like switching in time. You, you can I shoot him with a with a pistol? Oh, that's yeah. like a yeah. short story. She, she just walks just up. Just like hover shoot over him. Point blank. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Um, I'm gonna hit him with my staff and absorb ten of his HP. <laughs> ten HP. Okay. Old teacher walks up behind you and he looks at him and he says I almost feel bad watching this happen. But <laughs> then I remember I don't feel bad about much at all. <laughs> don't feel bad, that's actually pretty funny. <laughs> Uh, but as you turn to look at the teacher, you notice that something seems funny, like he phases in and out of reality for a moment. Oh, no. <laughs> for a flash, he's gone. And then oh, he's is that the new? Is that the new trick you learned, old man? Teacher. You're the only trick I know. What are you oh, talking about? I don't know. You're flickering like a uh, like a bug, a firefly. Again, I feel like you're narrating what you are to me. You're a firefly. We get it. Okay, well, we're you, shining bright like a star. You disappear forever. Don't say we sold it in task. Oh. Are you feeling weird at all? Because of the old guys here, maybe? Um, I don't think so. Okay, just checking. Flashes before your eyes again. Minotaur! Stop cutting magpies head off. Figured, die, like die, straight up, die, die, cutting it die. off. All right, so all I'm gonna make you. Me. Who needs ten duration? <laughs> I just want you to give me a roll for cutting his head off, just for the sheer intent. I want to make sure you sever through the bone. Um, just give me a thirty. They softened up the meat for you. Twenty. I rolled a twenty. Oh, he got it. Added to your got strength. So like that's fifteen or nineteen. That's uh, thirty-nine, forty. The Three. head is gone from the body. Uh, he has 46. ceased to be. All right, so you sever the head completely <laughs> an and easily. He's an ex magpie. <laughs> and when you do, what seems to happen is the body reverts to simpler clothing. The head reverts to a more human-looking face. And it almost reminds you of this person you met at this one planet, Daglatha, and he introduced himself and kissed Red's ring. But, there it is. You can pick up the head if you want it. Yeah. Okay. Tie it your belt by his yeah. hair. So, sure. should we head back to the cliff to check out the rest of the old kind, make sure they're all dead? All right. One second. Um, four, two. Yeah. You are carrying John the Red. She's asking if you should go check on the dead things yet. Or, but it is. Let's your go girl. make sure. Hey, four two. Let's go make sure all the old guys are dead. All right. I cool. poke him to make sure he's. I would like to dead. see what's in all these pockets. It just keeps spurting blood. Let's so. check on the old guy first. Before but the we... pockets, there's so many. There's there is a lot of pockets. Think of all the ice cream you could. Put I in know. There. Okay, let's go check on the old guy though. I'll check on the old guy. Can I like start like putting I really don't dirt want on the body? To get so about the pockets. <laughs> yeah. Also, um, when it comes to the effect of burning, there's three levels. You got I think two, four, and six, depending on the intensity of the fire. Mm -hmm. Given that the hammer is magma, what would you say that burning duration like would be? Would it be like six every four every turn or? I didn't put that down. We're setting his body on fire now that he's dead. Well, he was already on fire because whenever I hit with my oh, hammer, okay. it automatically gives the burning gotcha. condition. Yeah, I think he's dead. So, I'm just asking this out of character. For future reference. Yeah. I'd say put it at level two for now. And then... So, four. Yeah. Okay. So, that second rating. And then if you get to a certain point where you can do crafting on your downtime or something, mm -hmm. you can... Do okay. some rolls to get it up to its max level. All right. So then, yeah, I'm gonna make sure that the fire. Your soul's been around long enough that if he made something, that it would at tier least be a tier two also. item. Yeah, I'm gonna start. Oh, but yeah, wow. he's gonna kick he's dirt on the body. He learned on fire right now. From, so that the uh, fire doesn't get <laughs> too out of <laughs> hand. He is basically burning, even though he's already dead. Yeah. Well, I'm All putting right. the fire. Up. Frame, so frame I think that leaves Inalesha and. Uh, four two with John the Red over his shoulder, running back towards the cliff, 
to go look at the rubble and make sure other okai aren't going to be popping out. Well, um, I'm concerned because the teacher is flickering. He is still flickering. And the Golden City is in front of you. Etchings, runes, gems, shining glory, the sound of clanging swords, screams of battle. I'm going to jump on my new axe. Apparently it can fly. Excuse me. uh... So about that. You have to throw it, then you jump on it, and it sends you flying in circles. (laughs) So you're like, in like a tornado. You have to roll really well to ride it. John's like, this didn't happen (laughs) often. (laughs) It's like a simple thing. I'm going to try it. And I'm going to go to the Golden City. So, uh, Mr. So wait, there's uh, screams of battle coming from the Golden City? Yeah. Are you having some kind of magical stroke or something? You're blinking like a video game character. (laughs) Like you're almost dying. Maybe you're the one blinking. Hold your eyes open longer. (laughs) Nope, you're still flickering. Well, I don't know what's going on. I've always been me, as far as I know. You sound different. Except for that one time. You even sound different now. It's more of a southerner draw. Yeah. It's oh, really weird. Right, I forgot. I stopped <laughs> talking like that long ago. He's getting confused, people. I like to keep people guessing at all times. How many fingers am I holding? Oh, wait, you're blind. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> okay, somebody can shoot him. It's fine. There, hold feel up. It. There's sounds of battle coming yeah. from the city. Yes. <laughs> But the only old kai popped up fun. from here. Yes. That we know of. Well, let's go investigate <laughs> yeah. everybody. Yeah, so too, we got to go to the city. There's sounds of battle. We got to go to the action. Yeah. Fire. That's what the guy who wore the cloak would want to do. To the action. And as soon as you say that, he wakes up on the shoulder of 4 2. <laughs> <laughs> to the action. I'm like, hey there, buddy. He got your cloak. You said, you said my tagline. Do you have it's a my nice, Do you have a nice nap? <laughs> am, uh, am I cradling him or is he over my shoulder? He's over your shoulder. Okay. But he just like lifts his head up and hears. His like action. his like booty is right next to your face. You got him slung over yeah, like a sack yeah, of potatoes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it doesn't look like a sack it's of like potatoes. It's very sculpted. Yeah, okay. <laughs> he does squats. Mm. It's Heavenscape's booty. It's Heaven Escapes Booty. Oh, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, Minotaur, give me a 30 strength roll to throw the flying the axe. axe. Oh, John. He's to about to throw it. your axe and jump on it. Okay. 30. John the Red sees that and he's going to watch and laugh, chuckle. See what it looks like from the outside. <laughs> Yeah, 30. Does Fortune put I him down, or is he still oh, carrying right. him? So he just made it. You actually see this gigantic minotaur throwing this quad axe and then jumping on it and going, See ya! <laughs> and then so John the Red's like... It's a bull nato. He's like, I am a minotaur. <laughs> he is one with me. Does, right, he, so. does Fortune keep holding John? Is John just like Yeah, he's just chilling? talking from over his shoulder. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to enjoy the being carried. Thanks for carrying me. <laughs> it's very much so not enjoyable to get carried, but yeah. Having fun with it. All right. Fortune so. makes it enjoyable. <laughs> yeah. There's ice cream. Well, no, he's carrying him in such a way and maneuvering to where it's actually comfortable. Well, okay. So it's not stabbing his ribs. Yeah, because he doesn't have to compressing his organs. worry about holding him in a particular way. Because he's not human, he can like shift his body. With momentum and keep it, it's oh. like it's like he's. John, I kind of want to do that. John the Red's just floating yeah. in the air. That's the way it like feels. Like a cloud, like a yeah. technological cloud. Yeah, because he's compensating for any kind of like jitter or drawing. And of course, John the Red's probably taking down information on this because he knows that some other people that he hangs out with are really interested in this guy. Yeah. 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 All right. So as you run down towards the city, I'm assuming. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is there sounds of battle? That's yeah, where we're going. The sounds of battle, mm-hmm. and you actually see that the Minotaurs made it there first because his axe was very fast. Obviously, yes. He threw it quite hard. And he, like, notices there are these two huge double doors. Closed? 
Yeah, they're closed. What, One side seems to be the etching of like a, like a large bird. The other side seems to be an etching of a large wolf. Are there any handles on them? It's like... They tried to... A huge archway door. It doesn't seem to, to be any it. handles, but it does seem like there's two sides to it. Yeah, I'm going to push the door with the wolf open. I'll do the other one. Okay. Easily done. Y'all push the doors open. They're almost meant to do that. Oh. <laughs> As you walk in opens. and you see that there are several warriors that are all clashing swords against each other. All of them seem to be magnificently armored. Fur pelts. You see warriors of all different types of heritage and ethnicity, uh, different types of weapons, all fighting with each other. And Ooh, then at the back does it of this, seem like a like a battle, or does it seem like more of like a training, like a competition? A little bit of both. Like some of them take it really, really seriously. But some one of guy them might get like, his arm cut off, and then he sits there and he laughs about it, and then attacks back. But like it doesn't like seem it's like a they're, tournament. They hate each other, and they're trying to kill each other. They don't seem mad about it. They seem quite joyous. Mm-hmm. True battle. Who are and we killing? At the end of the hallway, you would Maybe actually nobody. see like a large what? throne. Ooh. Talk to the guy on the throne. Are we there yet? You're there. Oh. He's opened the door. He opened the door with I'm going to walk up and talk to the guy on the throne. All right. Hello. Is there someone in the throne? There is. Greetings. Old silver haired gentleman. Golden armor. Huge spear. Nice spear. I know this person. Don't tell me you brought him back. Hello. Who? Hi. Oh, I can not it ever be the good grandson? You know, that is a great question. Have you heard about Dogrum? Have you seen him lately? No, I have not heard from him lately. Did you hear? I can't remember. Did they tell me about the Valos? Are you related to everyone on this planet? Oh, Valos died. Maybe, sort of. Did he yeah, they told you about that's that. That's my grandfather. Are you a god? <laughs> yes, I yeah. am. I'm glad you had. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> he is. I uh, had to do a lot of work to get it. My son, Yakil, got a little bit carried away with... Um, the ladies? The ladies. Why would... The teacher guy at the pool thing be flickering. Are you talking about the guy that put the mark on my head? That yet kill? That's my yeah, head. my boy, That's the Chaos the... Spring guy. Oh, he put boy. the mark on your head. <laughs> He's still doing that. <laughs> like a... <laughs> I put marks yes. on people too. Remember that time I burned the bird into you? Yes. It's did you use that for any good? Yes, actually, I did. Did I? Yes. <laughs> I think that is what helped me create sun to lock away hell for thousands of years. Oh, that's Dear. totally gone now. Oh, wait. Yeah, this, somebody went to hell and totally blew right through that. They destroyed my star. They took you out of it. And they ain't that the load of... Whoever was there last, they were like killing hell knights or trying to... Wait like, blowing a second. Up a star. Hey, Alden. <laughs> Oh, what's yeah. up, witch? I had to sacrifice a lot of Why days. would the teacher be flickering in and out? Let me see him. The teacher. Did he come with, Did us? He come with us? Of course I came with you. You told me I was supposed to come here. And I was oh, all like okay. video I forgot game. I told you that. Okay, here he is. He's flickering. Right. <laughs> all right, so the teacher stands before Alden as he does. Alden lifts up this one big eye patch and you just see a bright glowing light that emanates from underneath the eye patch. He sets it back down. Press a button on my mask. Shades pop down. <laughs> Very intelligent. Oh, don't be such a baby. It's not that bright. Well, I can tell you one thing. Something's off. We just killed some Olkai here. I don't think that's what's off. Somebody is mucking around with reality. What is Swear that? Swear it was not me, guys. I don't look, even know how to The way you should things. look at it is this. My friend here is um, not exactly what you would call concrete in time. 
time. So whatever is happening in current time might be affecting his existence in reality here. So we need to go back to Mahare. Uh, maybe. We have I can't years. solve all the problems for you. If I could, then y'all wouldn't even exist, really. So, do you know who's actually messing with time? Is it stuck? Stuck me. Do we all look at him? Do we all look at him? Is it for He just turns... Well, no, he turns and looks at John the Red. Of course. You've done something naughty again. He took us to the action. Or he took I, him to the action. Yeah, that's all I do. Just because we're moss doesn't mean that you can do all this crazy stuff all the time. This 4-2 did steal his I turned to the 4-2. Yes, they do see. You brought one of the robots system. here. He's different. He, he has a fedora. Me here. He brought you to he, the auction. Yes, he was very. Yes, it's very gentle with ridiculous. me. Ridiculous. It's really <laughs> weird. It's strange. He's different. He has a fedora. I tip my hat. I got to get <laughs> me one of those hats. And I got. Uh, <laughs> I, okay, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna. I got a uh, mask. Gives me two to charisma. Everything about you disturbs me right now. <laughs> Hold on. Every single thing about you. You're wearing a smiley face. So, You've got a hat on. You're some sort of creature's skin is worn as a coat and then fitted tightly over that is John the Red's coat. Everything about you is strange. So right now. He has ice cream. Do you want some ice cream? I I don't get any extra points for that. That wasn't don't don't do that, lot of that wasn't First factored in. I don't get any points. Okay, it doesn't so count. Rolls. I'm not giving ice cream. I'm going to continue you. to drink my wine out of a large horn. Okay, I got 16 on the uniform. first roll. Go to the mead well. He's, ro okay. he's rolling the second for roll. What are you rolling to do? I got 15. You, are you rolling to charisma me? <laughs> <laughs> what did you get? <laughs> Sixteen. But you are no. disgusting. Did you to add me it right to your now. career? I do not understand. Wait, did, did you, you add, add it or add your career to it? Yes, I did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're you're ridiculous looking. You should get proper armor. What do you suggest we do about the time thingy? Time. Hi. The so what I'm saying is, is that he is a time variable. I'm a time. So we need to get He's him. He's also a time. We need to get him off the sword, off the. And then that sword. guy over there seems to be holding the daggum editor's <laughs> plate. We need to find Tom, right? Can I check the yeah, pockets? Yeah, Tom yeah. exists. That guy's always causing me problems. He's like, "Hey, I'm I got an omnipotent master." And I'm exactly. Like, if we hey, find him, he'd save the teacher, right? Eh? Where's everyone board. else? Everyone else. How many other people yeah, are you looking my, for? Yeah, uh, my nephews. No, whether my uncles, Ulrich and. Vadir, what was... Oh, Vadir died. Oh, Vadir? He's out in the uh, the grotto. Oh, can I go find him and shake his hand? for Not him? really. I mean, he's a spirit, so... Yeah, that's good. I mean, I you can, like, me? I used his pretend energy. to shake his hand while his soul juice, like, floats can around. Can I, like, bow whatever. to his soul juice? Like, I, <laughs> he died for me, so I feel like... Yeah, he's a good boy. He's not the smartest one of them, but um, I mean, neither am I. Hey, but I he like figured to out what pockets were. Okay. They, Wait, pockets. Yep. But like no, the, he's out in the grotto. I think he's been saying something about the elder trees. Like, doesn't really ever speak up. He's always like, "I'm the silent fury," and then he goes on being silent. The elder what trees. About the three? What about the elder trees? The elder tree. Um, that was a dream that I had. That it was growing dim. Oh, that, that sounds, sounds like bad. a depressing dream. Would it grow dim, Alden? You had this dream before or after you stole that blade? It was after I took the blade from Stein. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's not good. Doesn't, doesn't not good how? Well, the mark on the blade is the same mark on the tree. That's how I unified the tree and the metal of the original axe that I sent down to be with my grandchild. <gasps> I remember that axe. And then somebody took it and said, I'm going to make it into a big pointy um, stick. Listen, the guy came with the bubble and he said... Do he was a real thing. man. He needed a real weapon. It was an axe and you turned it into a friggin' sword. Well, to blame that but the tree, the let's get back to the tree. 
All right. Yes. The mark of Alden. The bird. The rune that I put on the blade. I did so so that it would be tied eternally to the Elder Tree. The Elder Tree has existed since before me. It comes from a Spock. Spock. Spark. Is Spark. it? So, Spark. It, it comes Spark? from Spock. Does Why this... that? Yeah, sure. Okay. It's the fire that started Why would existence. it go dim? Is it because I'm not in the sky anymore? You're not that important. Well, you know, it was worth a shot. You, you're like, you're a fire god. You get that, yeah, right? Get you're that. not like the son of the universe. I could be. You just too wait. I will be. Okay, but the tree. Why is it growing dim? I don't know. What would cause it to do that? Bad crap. Where would well, we find this bad crap? Before. Because we Stein. have... We have an angry. Some real Stein is going. We have an angry Minotaur who wants to deal with the bad crap. Hello. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess let's um go to the tree. Okay. Right.